Hi guys, Wanchuber here and in today's video I'm going to talk about the term Grand Cru, what actually Grand Cru means in the top 5 French regions, including Medoc, Champagne, Alsace, Burgundy and saint emilion At the end of this video I will also show you my personal and most unique ranking of all 5 regions. So, let's get started! Before we start, many thanks to the Corkscrew Wine and Spirit Merchants for helping me with this video. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe. The Grand Cru term means literally first grow and sometimes can be really confusing. In most cases, this term is regarding the great, a superior side of the vineyard, sometimes the entire plot. But in some cases, it's regarding the great estate. So, now let's check how Grand Cru works in the five different French regions. Let's start with the Bordeaux and more precisely with the Medoc, which is located on the left bank of the Bordeaux region. This region is famous for one of the most prestigious villages producing wines, including Margot, Poyac, saint Estef, and Saint-Julien. The first classification of Bordeaux wines was introduced in 1855 in Paris at Napoleon Third Command. This ranking into the red wines of Medoc and Graf, but also sweet wines of Sauterne and Barsac. In this video I will focus only on the red wines of Medoc. So the Medoc classification was divided into five different categories. Premier Cru, first grow only four estates in that list, the most prestigious part of this classification. Second crew with 15 estates, then third crew with 14 estates, fourth crew with 10 estates, and finally on the bottom of that list, fifth crew with 17 estates. The two main criteria of the ranking were the reputation of the estates on the market, and more importantly, the transaction prices, the value of the wine, and not even of the wine, the value of the estate on the market. Since 1855 there were only two changes in the ranking. In 1856 Chateau Cantermel was added to the fifth grow, and in 1973 after a long and intense lobby Chateau Mouton Rothschild was promoted from the second grow to the Premier Cru, meaning that now there is a five estate classified as a Premier Cru. What is really interesting about the Meadow classification is that 59 of 61 estates classified in 1855 holds the Grand Cru status for the last 170 years, nearly 170 years. We had World War I, World War II, Covid, Phylloxera, owner way change, different graves was planted, but the Chateau's estate still holds Grand Cru status. In my opinion, 1855 classification should be reviewed. It's completely out of date. Each estate should be reviewed like a Michelin star restaurant to prove quality rather than historical empathy. Let's move on to another iconic wine region of France, which is Burgundy. In Burgundy, the vineyards are divided into four different categories. On the bottom of the classification of regional appellation called Bourgogne, meaning that the grapes can be sourced from any part of the Bourgogne region. This appellation represents approximately 55% of the overall production. Above the Bourgogne appellation we have Village. There are 44 villages that can appear on the Burgundy labels. Examples Merceau, Givry, Macon, Pomar, Gevre, Chambertin and so on. Village wines are produced in specific villages or communes and represent approximately 33% of the overall production. The next level is Premier Cru. Wines come from the smaller plots called Climat. There are 640 Premier Cru Climats that can also appear on the label. The Premier Cru wines represent approximately 10% of overall production. And finally, Grand Cru, the highest classification of Burgundy region. There are 32 Grand Cru plots and dedicated to only two grape varieties, which is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. All Grand Cru sites are located in Côte d'Or, and each of them is located on exceptional slopes with super rich soil. 
most of the Grand Cru wines are also aged in oak barrels before they are released to the market. What is so special about the Grand Cru classification and especially Grand Cru plots in Burgundy that this classification is based on observations that began in 12th century. Local monks discovered the potential of the Côte d'Or area over 800 years ago. The Grand Cru plots are tiny and often divide in between few or even more producers, meaning that they really focus on the quality. I have to say I never ever had a bad wine from the Grand Cru classification of Burgundy. Now we are moving to one of the most underrated regions in France, which is Alsace. This region is very well known for producing white and very aromatic wines, as nearly 90% of plantings are the white grapes. Did you know that there's only one red grape permitted in the area, which is Pinot Noir? Did you know that majority of Alsatian wine is a single variety and that variety also appear on the label, which is quite unusual for French wines? The classification of Alsatian wine is not as advanced as Burgundy and is divided into main two categories. So the basic classification is simply called AOC Alsace and represents approximately 75% of the overall production. Then above that we have Alsace Grand Cru which represents only 5% of Alsatian production. The remaining 20% is divided into sparkling wines and sweet wines also produced in the area. Alsatian Grand Cru classification was introduced in 1983, where 25 vineyards were designated. Today there are 51 vineyards, and the last update took place in 2006. Unlike Bordeaux, the Grand Cru status in Alsace is given to the vineyards rather than the estate. All 51 sites represent a unique combination of the soil, topography and microclimate. Fun fact about Grand Cru classification. Did you know that there is 10 grapes permitted in Alsace, but only 4 can be used for the Grand Cru wines, which is Riesling, Pinot Gris, Muscat and Gewurztraminer. Summarizing, the Alsatian Grand Cru wines can be produced only from the exception Terroir and produced by several different producers, who happily possess a piece of land with one of the 51 Grand Cru sites. Now it's time for one of my favorite French region, which is Champagne. Did you know that Champagne region is divided into five small sub-regions? Montagne de Rance, known for the Pinot Noir, Val de Mar, when one of the best Pinot Meunier are produced, Côte de Blanc, the homeland of Chardonnay, Côte de Bar, in this area the Pinot Noir takes the lead, and finally, Côte de Cézanne, another great area for Chardonnay grape variety. The Cru classification was introduced in the Champagne region in 1919. The goal was to set the price of the grapes in each village at the harvest times. It helps the grower selling their grapes to the producer at fixed price according to the quality of the terroir. The system is known as Echelle de Cru and categorized 321 villages as follow. Over 200 villages are classified as O True, which is the entry level. 44 villages are classified as Premier Cru. And finally, only 17 villages were classified as a Grand Cru status. Did you know that in 2004, the Echelle classification was abandoned meaning that Premier and Grand Cru term has no official value. Both terms can be still used by producers, by the way, meaning that in theory they can increase the price of the Grand Cru wines, for example, and the labels looks really prestigious on the shelves. So, how to identify the good quality champagne on the shelves? Well, the beauty of the champagne is that the majority of them is a blend of different grapes, different plots and also different vintages. So the only recommendation I give it to you is to try to find the house, the style of champagne that you like and not necessarily focus on Premier Cru, on Grand Cru, on the label. Now let's move on to saint Emilion, the right bank of the Bordeaux region. I make separate video about this particular region, so link can be found here 
on the description below. So if you'd like to learn more about this beautiful part of France, click one of those links. Anyways, I'm happy to share with you a couple of hints. Wine labeled as a Premier Grand Cru Classe or Grand Cru Classe in saint emilion need to be reviewed. After the review, each estate can get maximum score of 20 points. To be classified as a Grand Cru, the minimum score is 14 points. And to be classified as a Premier Grand Cru Classe, the minimum score is 16 points. To be scored as a Premier Grand Cru Classe, 50% is the taste of the wine. 35% is the reputation of the market, 10% is the winery and terroir, and finally 5% is the wine growing. Overall, my the biggest concern about saint emilion classification is that only 50% of the final score is the taste of the wine. In my personal opinion, the minimum score should be 85%. Now is the time to announce the ranking of the Grand Cru classification of French wines. Fifth place is going to Medoc region. In my opinion, this classification is no longer relevant. Fourth place, Champagne. Grand Cru and Premier Grand Cru classification was given to entire villages. That doesn't make any sense. Third place, the most controversial is Alsace. The Grand Cru classification is absolutely amazing. However, I tried a couple of wines from the Grand Cru plots, Grand Cru producers and they were not good enough. However, overall, this is fantastic region. Second place is going to saint emilion classification. In my opinion, if you want to judge the wine even 10 years or every 10 years time, you need to judge the wine first, then the estate. 50% of the wine, it's not enough. So, second place, saint emilion And finally, the first, the best Grand Cru classification is the Burgundy. The smaller plots, the tiny producer, amazing wines are never ever had a bad wine labeled as a Grand Cru Burgundy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, don't miss out my next one. If you're the wine lover, Bordeaux lover, in next video I will review 1855 classification of the red wines of the Medoc. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!